Uh, the fun topic. Racial equality. I challenge the Democrats on, like, being good at this, like, but anyway. But continuing on. Since day one, the administration has championed an ambitious, like, equal equity and racial justice agenda to ensure the full and fair participation to of all communities in our economy and democracy and to ensure the promise of Americans for everyone, including Black, Latino, and Asian American, Nation, National Hawaiian, and Pacific Islanders. They, the Americans, they put this acronym here, A-N-H-P-I, right here, but yet they had that uh, back in the beginning of the document, but didn't explain it either. So anyway, A-N-H-P-I. But continue on. Democrats are building a strong economy from the bottom up than like the middle out. Black and Latino unemployment has like hit a record low on their present minimum. And the H A N H P I employment rates are at the highest since like 2008. I wonder what happened in 2008 that like made that very low. It probably made it low for a lot of people. Continue on. Wages are high, uh, raising faster than like prices and the greatest gains have gone to like the low paid workers. Prices are still too high. It feels like it's still too high. When people are used to like prices in, in one way, it feels like very high when like hey, prices change from that and never go back. Again, okay. what sets prices is the companies that I control the production and control distribution and things. That's what set the prices. It's not the market. The companies are trying to figure out how much of like um, uh, money they can get with of like having raised prices based on the market, or engineer the market so such that like the prices are such. Continue on. The idea, the ideal of like uh, equal opportunity is the bedrock of American democracy, but our laws, public policies, and institutions too often and uh, exacerbate disparities in like they deny or deny equal opportunity to individuals and communities. President Biden signed two executive actions to change that, including by increasing access to federal contract dollars, contracting dollars, a capital and lending programs for small disadvantaged like businesses, reducing a discrimination in the housing market, and protecting the overburdened like communities from environmental harms, addressing historical disinvestments in the infrastructure and the neglect. Addressing health and healthcare disparities, rooting out educational inequalities, inequities, and preserving pathways to equal opportunity, tackling precious uh, poverty, persistent poverty, and building ec economic prosperity in rural communities, uh, promoting equity and fairness in the justice system, combining bi bias, discrimination, and hate-based violence, and bolstering proactive like enforcement that protects civil rights of all Americans. Just remember, in order to like to actually dismantle the get rid of poverty and the fight against poverty, you have to like uh, end capitalists in order for that to happen. But the Democrats are not going to do that. Not if they have say in saying that too. Because Nancy Pelosi said we are capitalists. I don't know. They just believe that like poverty is just natural, or poverty is a like, personal choice. Anyway, continue on. Democrats expanded the child care tax credit to millions of more families, slashing the child poverty rate in half to broken lows, including for Black, Latino, A, and then HPI children. We'll fight. Hey, hey we'll keep uh, fighting to like make that ex expansion permanent. The administration has also like expanded like food access to those in need, providing the typical low-income family for about twenty two thousand dollars more for groceries each year by improving like SNAP and launch the summer food program benefits that serve nearly twenty one million children. Democrats will continue to work in the increased food insecurity, including through OWIC and summer EPT, and bringing back the enhanced child tax credit. Didn't they meet the de deal with Democrats in order to get rid of the child tax credit as well, too? So even though they introduced it, which did actually lift a lot of children out of poverty, did like, give a lot of money to like families that needed it, they kind of like uh, took it back. And it would be, and if if they did manage to like help a lot of families, low income families with the SNAP as well too, um, 
in some HTC programs, it still like seems to be like so in parts, at least from according to like my friends that I have to rely on Snap. It seems it seems to be like specifically for my friends been efficient to have like doing that. It's unfortunate, but like that seems to be the case. <sighs> Continuing on, um, starting a business is part of the American dream. Well, it's an American dream because the only time it happens is when you're asleep. Uh, continue on. Um, and Democrats are working to make that possible for everyone, boasting access to like, capital and loans and to business through government contracting work. Today, black Americans are starting business, uh, new businesses at the fastest rate in 30 years, and Latinos at the fastest rate in over a decade. Since the pandemic, the share of like, black households owning a business have more than doubled. Um, a lot. Latino businesses' ownership is up 40%, and women own a record share of like businesses. The administration set a goal that 15% of federal contracts go to like small disadvantaged like businesses, S SDPs, is and will continue expanding those opportunities for SDPs in like second in the second term. Well, this now this one is is factually correct, but says this administration will go into second term is just be one led by Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz instead of like Biden. Uh, so if they say administration in the second term, that's accurate. But my, oftentimes this document has said Biden when he gets a second term, and Biden's not running again. Uh, continue on. Uh, the Small Business Administration (SBA) has uh, doubled the number of like dollar value of loans awarded to like black-owned businesses, and doubled the rate of SBA-backed loans to like Latino-owned small businesses. We limited the ban on SBA lending to people on prohibition or parole, and banned the box on SBA loan forms so that people are no longer asked about their past hit records when applying for a loan. I, I hope that is cool. I hope that's like true and it's been expanded because like a lot of people to get this just discriminated against based on like past reports as well too. I mean, why the hell do we have a thing of the concept of credit score to begin with? Um. Why is it like like we we have to be so beholden and have to make sure we have an excellent credit score in order to be able to you know get a house or like get a car and that sort of thing? That I just like to understand, but that's like the system we have right now. Continue on, and the Minority Business Development Agency, now a permanent part of the Commerce Department, is opening new offices and building partnerships with HBCU, uh, historical black colleges, universities. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, in its uh, work to like help um, minority-owned businesses across the country to overcome barriers of, in growth, uh, the administration has also increased investment in the community development uh, finance uh, institution (CDFIs) uh, and minority um, uh, I don't I forgot how to pronounce this word. Disposary. Uh, the minority dispensary institutions, MDA, MDIs, uh, and issue new licenses for like a uh, bank, non-bank lenders, uh, helping more people in undeserved uh, communities to get capital and start businesses. As part of this work, Vice President Harris launched the Economic Opportunity Coalition, bringing together the majority of corporations and found and foundations to align uh, public and private like sector investments with a particular focus on like driving private investments in CDFIs and MDIs. Uh, by investing in community lenders, with like we're driving an estimate uh, 130 billion more in loans to like Black and Latino communities over, over the next decade. Going forward, we'll double the that funding for CDIFs and expanding to like make per, uh, permanent a new uh, market uh, tax credit to encourage development in places is too long left behind. The American Rescue Plan has also provided four billion of tax and a debt forgiveness for Black and other like socially disadvantaged like farmers, a group that has like endured uh, decades of like discrimination from like banks and federal government. Trump's MAGA allies has brought lawsuits and his traditional appointees blocked that funding, but Democrats but keep pushing, and they secured over five billion in the inf in. Inf uh, Inflation Reduction Act to provide financial assistance to farmers, ranchers, and the forest landowners who face discrimination and to cover loans and payments for farmers in finance distrust for, uh, over two billions and has over already been like 
distributed to more than 40,000 people. The Agriculture Department estimated that Black and underserved farmers have benefited the most. The robust company recovery that the President Biden is leading is also working to close the presidential uh, racial wealth gap that has plagued this country for generations. Today, Black wealth has like climbed 60% and before the pandemic. Latino ownership is like um, higher than like before the pandemic, and the median Latino household is up to 19% and in the last three years. I've got I per I forgot to mention something that like was mentioned uh, already earlier in the chat as well too by Raven. Now, like, the Raven dislikes like, Barack Obama a lot because, like, he's kind of like a simulationist as well, too. This is kind of like um, a discussion that's like happening amongst black leftists as well, too, about this idea of like black capitalism. So it's like for black people to be liberated from poverty or from like the shackles of the system in a way, uh, it's like they want to, they see that like you just have to do a capitalist in order to get out of that as well, too. So that's one criticism they have about this kind of like um, whole system. But this is what like Democrats are going to advocate for because they're capitalists. Again, instead of working on the inherent problems with the system that like keeps many people in poverty anyway, they just want to like make tweaks in the system to improve the system, and so that like more people are just uh, more people are not impoverished as well too, or less poor. All right, but they continue to be like uh, continue the system as it is working as it is. So there's a problem with it like that. Uh, Again, it's just like more when there are more women and black people CEOs as well too. They just want to like include more people in the middle class instead of just getting rid of the class system altogether. But that's because they're they're capitalists and so want to keep the class system as it is. Uh, continue on. Home ownership is one of the most important ways that my families can build wealth. I hate that that's the case though. I hate that, like, uh, you not seeing, like, a home as, like, something you use in order to, like, live in as well, too, but it's more of an asset that you can, like, grow capital with. Uh, I wish that, like, uh, homes are treated for their, like, uh, use value than anything else. I mean, I guess at least it's a sign of wealth if you own a home as opposed to, like, rent an apartment, but I don't think that, but if people want to just live in apartments and don't want to live houses, I think that should be fine, too. But continue on. The administration launched a first of its kind like task force to end pernicious like a uh, biases in the home appraisal process, which has like for too long undervalued black and Latino home owned homes. Since then, the likelihood that like a home in a black community is undervalued compared to the home in white community has been like cut by more than forty percent. Democrats are working to bring down like housing costs across the board. American Rescue Plan keeps uh, 8 million families in their homes throughout the pandemic. I was hearing some con uh, horns from outside and was like wondering if that's going to continue or it's like a car alarm is going off. Uh, continue on. And the president has introduced the most ambitious like housing agenda in 15 years. If he does done that, that's probably because of the low bar because the housing agenda has been like terrible for the past 50 years. Continue on. Uh, with plans to both surprise uh, lower rents and like make homeownership more affordable, the concept of the housing market should just be getting rid of, which should be tossed aside. But the Democrats are not going to do that because they benefit from the housing market existing as their landlords themselves or have investments in like real estate and landlords as well too. Um, they're fine with themselves like owning eight homes as well too if they happen to be rich enough to do so because like then it's like entrepreneur opportunities or jobs and that sort of thing doing even though like being a landlord is not a job in itself and it's just extraction of wealth that's all it is purely continue on it includes down it includes down payment assistance for the first generation of homeowners and a mortgage relief uh, tax credit for first line home buyers uh, which will disproportionately benefit the community's counters. And with the mortgage of really tax credit and that sort of system of tax credit sort of thing and rebates, you still the person still has to put up the money first in order to get the tax credit and rebates back. So that you have to be able to own a home or buy a home in order to get that life mortgage relief really tax credit. Continue on. We are also like working to connect communities that have been like isolated from opportunity for far too long. 
uh, highways and rails lines have disproportionately been torn through like black and Latinos in low income areas, displacing and segregating residents and businesses, stifling economies, economic growth and investments, and cutting people off from like groceries, jobs, and like uh, health care. Um, through like the bipartisan infrastructure law, we are righting those historical wrongs by investing in new roads, bridges, highways, and more approachable tra public transit. So, there are, it, it, how I kind of interpret like that this part of investing in new roads, bridges, and uh, railways is kind of like that. You are going to like build more of the things that were tearing through like uh, black and Latino communities, just like in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's a bypass. You got to build a bypass. At least, like, uh, doing more public transport, it would be good. And, like, in some ways, the railways have to be done as well, too. It's just kind of, like, funny that they, like, mentioned that right after they said that's exactly what's, like, tearing apart, like, black communities and separate them from the grocery stores and stifling their economies. But, like, as that's, like, I think a clear example of gentrification as well, too. But don't forget that, like, cities like Los Angeles would also want to, like, host the Olympics as well, too. And so they would, like, also do, like, a gentrification in that way. Uh, continue on. We know that, like, no child's life feature should be returned by their parents' income or zip code. Uh, you're not gonna like uh, get rid of poverty though. You just want to like make poverty be better though, and the less of it. But you're not gonna fall to get rid of it. But well, we'll continue on. We have made historical investments in education in the last four years, boosting in funding for Title One uh, and community schools, investing in thousands of like new schools, counselors, mental health providers, and supporting efforts to like boost attendance and expand tutoring and like the summer programs. We passed the most significant gun safety laws in 30 years, probably because there was much gun safety laws as well too, but whatever, uh, continue on. A important like first step towards like, protecting old children from the scores of gun violence. We are supporting students with disabilities and working to end physical restraints and, and prevent like discrimination, bullying, and harassment. It's kind of like the this is only like the third or fourth mention of disability or disabled people in this whole document, but there is a full section just for disabled people as well too. But in the this chapter as well too, we'll talk about democracy. So it's probably like only going to talk about the disabled people. And like we're going to make it easier for them to vote. So they only care about disabled people if they vote for them. Doing on, and where manga streamers are like policing, um politicizing our classrooms, banning books, and trying to erase history, we're fighting back, including by appointing a federal uh, coordinator to address the threats these like bans pose to like students' says of rights. Also investing in recruiting and training teachers from all communities, including in partnerships with uh, HBICUs, uh, HBCUs, uh, and uh, NSIs. Um, I forgot what the S stands for. Minority Blah Institution as well, too. Um, continue on. And TCU. So I forgot what TCU stands for. Yeah, continue on. And helping them, like, pay a, a, that they deserve it. Uh, it's matter to, like, children when they, like, see someone who looks like them at the front of the classroom. And I had to, like, actually think about it when it was the first time I ever, like, had, like, uh, a teacher in public schools that was a teacher of color. It was, like, by third grade, an uh, Asian woman was my teacher. I think the first time that, like, a black person was my teacher was, like, in, like, social studies class in, like, seventh grade in middle school. I don't know if there was ever a black teacher at all in my, at the elementary schools I've been to. Um, and again, only one Asian teach teacher that I remember having at my elementary school as well, too. Uh, continue on. Democrats are also working on making college more affordable and to relieve the crippling burden of student debt, which is disproportionately fells on students of colors. Um, again, I'll bring it up again. Biden was asked if he would forgive up to $50,000 of student debt. Uh, to which he, uh, that uh, person asked the question and said he has the power to do so. He did not deny that. And he just said, I will not. Uh, continuing on. Black students take on 85% more debt than like white peers, and uh, both black and Latino borrowers are more likely to hold debt uh, many years longer after graduation. Different 
deterring their dreams to buy a home, build a family, or start a business. That's why the president's actions to cancel $167 billion in student debts for nearly 5 million Americans and to raise repayments for millions of others and is such an important step in levering the playing field for everyone. And yeah, they will talk these numbers and these numbers are true. I'm not going to doubt that. But they couldn't be a lot bigger, but they they didn't chose not to do that because like they didn't want... I don't know what they want to do. I don't know what they want to do, but Biden was like, he said he would not. He just would not. And yep, so much for like pulling Biden left. And again, and like it seemed liberals are more focused on just making sure like Orange Man not in all will office but nor than anything else. That like after like that happens and Orange Man not in office as well too. They'll, they'll just continue on this and we're too ignoring what the administration is doing, and ignoring what the things that the administration could be doing more of. And just like, hey, a Democrat's in the office, we can go brunch now. Including my friends, including progressives. Continue on. To help boring low-income students afford the college in the first place, the administration has also increased the maximum Pell Grant by 900 and will, and will double it in the future. We're expanding access to free community college, providing subsidized tuition for children from families earning less than $125,000 a year. I mean, I didn't realize that how low that is, too, because like I did the math with my and my me living with my two brothers as well too, our combined household total for this apartment is over $125,000 a year. Is that so honestly? Uh, so it's really, really, really low if that's the case. Continue on. The administration has made historical investments in those schools as well as like in registered apprenticeships uh, to train Americans everywhere for careers in the of the future. Uh. Six thirty already. I'm gonna like try to look and finish up the section as well too, and see how many of my pages of the next session it is, and I might call it like a board stream early as well too. I know others would like try to push for like say the five hour mark as well too, and other things as well too. But like I was also like late in starting my stream too, because like so it's just Alchemy Day went longer. But it was still a great show. I had a lot of fun having uh, Nekonomicon on. And I think I surprised John Brackman with Necronomicon coming on because he was like preparing for like Patreon show today. I could do on. Democrats also commit to like ending like uh, generations of fundamental injustices that have left communities of color uh, bearing the brunt of toxic pollution and climate change, decaying infrastructure and in their concerns. I got in Flint water, Michigan's water. I'm not sure if that's been fixed yet. And Flint, Michigan is a primarily uh, black uh, city as well too. Uh and yes, there is such a thing as like a racist uh, environmentalism or racist um, the yeah, racist environmental justice multi. Anyway, continue on. Administration is delivering on the uh, on the Justice Forty initiative to deliver forty percent of overall benefits of our investments in the infrastructure, clean energy, and manufacturing investments to disadvantaged uh, communities. Today, we're replacing every toxic lead pipe in the country, accelerating uh, Superfund cleanups, cracking down on polluters that have poisoned their neighborhoods, air, water, soil for too long. Uh, I mean, you could tune anything like racist if you try hard enough too, and it's not that hard here in the imperialist corporations of white supremacy in the United States of America. So yeah, um, I think I have that as a command. Let's see. I see W S. Yep. Uh, continue on. We're making sure like, that the, like, every community benefits from like a uh, home energy uh, tax credit, uh, low cost like uh, solar panels, and other programs that can save a uh, family's money while reducing uh, emissions. And we're investing in climate change, climate resilient infrastructure that we will protect every part of this uh, country from extreme weather and other consequences of climate change. I mean, but we're still not banning fracking. I understand why Kamala Harris like said on the debate stage that she's not banning fracking because like fracking's a big industry over in Pennsylvania where the debate happened. And in order to like win Pennsylvania, she has to like say that she's not going to ban fracking in this war too. Um it's still terrible that like basically this like um this like planet's on 
fire or the environment's on fire or air uh, and like um the environment is becoming increasingly more inhospitable for humans it's definitely for future generations but like yeah it's like so i and i think that if the surest thing for no, granted, yeah. If everyone like stopped driving cars or like lived their lives without cars, and, or sort of be able to cut cars out of their lives as much as possible, or like switch over to a plant-based diet as much as possible, that's like what is like individuals can do to be able to reduce their carbon footprint and their emissions as well too. But the biggest like thing that's like causing all the carbon emissions going to the atmosphere is not like individual people; it is corporations. So unless you get uh, making more changes to like get just get rid of the fossil fuel industry altogether, we're not going to fight climate change. Continue on. Democrats is also like keep fighting to address like disparities in healthcare and make sure every American has access to quality, affordable healthcare. You can do that by having Medicare for all for starters. But continuing, uh, we continue to protect and the expand the Affordable Care Act. Uh, expanding coverage to like more Americans ever in history and taking historical steps to lower the cost of prescription drugs like capping insulin at $35 a month and prescription drugs at $2,000 a year for seniors. We will keep fighting to expand those like uh, caps for every American. We will keep providing and pushing to provide Medicare like coverage to people in states that have not expanded Medicaid. Oh, Medicaid like uh, coverage is cool too. And then it's just like um, forfeiting fossil fuel and entirely would just like it would do so much to fight against like uh, climate change. Oh my god, yeah, I agree, Lucidia. But they're not going to do that because the fossil fuel industry funding both parties in the world too, which is why like the uh, Democratic Party is not against banning fracking. Um. Oh, yeah, I'm going to continue to send this. And make it easier for parents to keep children enrolled in Medicaid and CHIP. Uh, we'll defend all women's rights to reproductive like uh, health care. As highlighted above, we're tackling the crisis of maternal mortality, expanding Medicaid to cover women for a full year postpartum, post the yeah, postpartum and investing in diverse workforces to support uh, pregnant and postpartum women, and we will address the like disproportionate impact of infectious diseases, including HIV and hepatitis C, and expand to pre ebbed at the end of the HIV a uh, HIV HIV uh, epidemic. That'd be nice if that does happen, but it's like, there's been a lot of progress on that as well, too. So it's like, not like it, if you get HVI, the HIV, you are going to get AIDS. And in, even if you, uh, and in being like HVI, if you just like take the medication, you'll be like, uh, have a reduced your viral load significantly. So there's been strides in like protecting that. Uh, having H HIV is not the death sentence in what's once. Continue on. We have a long way to go to realize the full promise of Americans, um, but we are committed as a party to continue to work to build a nation where all people are not only like created equal, but treated equal throughout their lives. To determine how uh, best to uh, right historical wrongs, Democrats support Congress as ex executing a study of reparations for like continuing impacts of slavery. Well, that's, that's at least something. At least they finally mentioned reparations as well, too. Um, cause like, yeah, this, this is something that we should like uh, think about. We also have to do reparations or at least honor the fucking treaties to indigenous people as well too. But reparations to the, the people in continue being impacted by slavery. Yes, that absolutely needs to happen too. Uh, cause you know, Trump's vision of America is very different. At present, he like a uh, short change of uh, black owned businesses when it was like time to have a uh, COVID relief funds. But, I mean, he short changed everyone, but he did short change black and brown, uh, black owned businesses. I'm sure. Uh, continuing, his uh, tax law benefited like wealthy white Americans and like over everyone else. Unemployed rates uh, soared during the, his presidency for people of color, while he like tried to like uh, cut health care, affordable housing, and social security. He did do all that, yeah. That was like terrible, and even like in the national budgets, those were a very, 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 very small percentage of like the national budget anyway, because we don't robustly fund those things at all. Um, continue on. At, they're, okay, so they forgot to put a pa uh, space in this like period as well too, but it's fine. Hey, uh, because that sort of thing that like actually even like a uh, Microsoft would be able to catch. Uh, but it's fine. It's a fifty-five. It is a ninety-two page document. Uh, continue on. As a real estate, uh, as a real estate developer. 
where he was like sued for race-based like uh, housing discrimination and systematic violations of the Fair Housing Act, engaging in long-standing racial, racial segregation and discrimination in properties they owned and operated. And yet there are people still to this day, I bet there's still people still to this day, ask like, how is Donald Trump racist? How is Donald Trump a white supremacist? There you go. Anyway, continue on. Or even how he talks about Kamala Harris and how he said, I didn't know that she was black. Continue on. Now he wants to repeal the Affordable Care Act, ripping away like health care for millions. He will gut President Biden's landmark jobs, uh, prescription drugs, uh, and climate bills, and put in the crippling in import tax on like every day, day, day things people need to like get by. They buy raising costs for like blacks and Latino families on everything from insulin to like internet to school supplies. I know that seriously. Some people like seriously have something. It's like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Lucidia, have you listened to the man? How he talked about the immigrants? How he just talked about like Haitian people eating dogs and cats in like uh, Springfield, Ohio? Uh, continue on. He will increase the race, uh, the racial wealth gap by cutting taxes for billionaires and big corporations while sticking working families with the bill. He will make our communities like less safe. The murder rate spiked during like a rec uh, spiked by a record during his presidency. Crime is nearly is near a 50 year low under President Biden. Uh, Trump has like a handpicked like a uh, courts and will continue their attacks on like the rights, our rights and freedoms. Eroding voter rights, the freedom to protect act, and the freedom to make one's own health care decisions. America cannot afford to go back. 